I've been working on a rabbit teddy idea all day, but uh, it isn't quite coming to fruition yet. Uh, so I've decided to have a little break from that. And um, I bought this shirt from the op shop for a dollar and I wanted to make it into a, um, a manta ray stuffed toy. I think that the material was just beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it inside out. I'm gonna draw my manta ray on it. I'm going to sew around it and then stuff it with a little bit of wire at the top so that I can curl those bits around like a manta ray, um, you know, like they've got those flappy bits at the front. And then I'll sew on a tail and it should be quite an easy um, process. So I've folded my t-shirt inside out and um, folded it in half so nice and smoothly. And what I've done is I've just drawn what I think I want my shape to look like. So I would have loved for it to come out further, but um, maybe I'll just do a little bit more in there so it looks like it does. And then I've come down here and I'm going to have to do something else for the tail, whether I use, you know, a little bit of this, um, I think I might, and then put some wire in there so you can curl the tail. But the first step is to pin both, like all four pieces together and then cut it all out together and then slowly open it up, repin it. And then um, I'll just, with the sewing machine, I'll stitch it and leave an opening so that I can flip it inside out and insert the wires into. I've pinned and I've just changed that little angle a little bit there. So now I'm going to cut it out with a really nice sharp pair of scissors and unfold it, repin it and then stitch it. And so shouldn't be um, a very hard project. Let's get going. All pinned and ready to go. If I had had the um, option, I would have liked to have curled that in a little bit more, but because of the shape of the, um, the shirt, I had to go with what I had. And um, I love recycling, so I'm happy with that. Uh, so the next stage is to sew it. I'm probably gonna choose to go from here all the way around, back to there turn it inside out, add the wire in, and then figure out the tail. I think that'll be the easiest way. So off to the sewing machine. It's all sewed together. Um, all the pins are out and I'm just going to uh, turn it inside out. Okay, so we've got our shape and what I wanna do is I wanna bend some wire that I'm going to pop up in these um, these arms in here so that I can bend them around once it's stuffed. I've bent my wires um, that I'm going to put up there and once they're in there I can um, shape them however I like but one of the most um, important things is covering this part here because if I don't what's going to happen is it's just going to poke straight through the material so I've got some scraps of material and I'm just going to wrap around like that and I'm going to use some tape to um, wrap around there and make it so that it's not sharp and pointy. Double up the material, put it over there, wrap it around. There we go. I don't think that's going to poke through anything and the same on the other side. Okay, okay, so we've got our two bits and we're going to try and insert them into the tail of the manta ray. A little bit tricky. Do one side at a time, but I can't really do that either because I need them both in there. Just got to use your fingers to feel where that end is going. We need the loop to go up into there. And then again, same on the other side. Just 
trying to find the end of this one. That's not the end. This is... Push that uh, taped end into the corner over there. And the same on the other side. Stretch it out. just a matter of um, fiddling now. Okay, now that we know that all the bits are in the right places, we can start to stuff it. So I'm just going to put uh, little bits of stuffing in at a time. Because, I mean, that's all you can fit in this tiny little hole. It's a little bit difficult because what I need to do now is um, slowly bring that stuffing up into the areas that uh, we won't be able to push it into later. So into these top bits. I've just finished stuffing it and um, I'm really happy with how it is going and I'm going to go figure out what tail I'm going to give it and then we'll bend those forward and then it'll be pretty much done once I've sewn the tail on. These are the pieces that I'm left with and I want the longest tail possible so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew like a little bit of a cone there and um, then use that as a tail. So I'll show you how I do that. And just while we're here, this is a really old sheet that uh, has lost its elastic and um, I've got some ideas for some pants or something, I don't know, some, you know, hippie pants because when we're on the boat we'll be going to the beach to have sundowners with um, all the other boaties and uh, to stop getting eaten alive by midges and mosquitoes I'll be wearing long pants I think, so stay tuned for that project. Let me go cut this out. We don't have to get fancy with the tail. Uh, I'm not even going to bother pinning this. I'm just going to hold it together on the ends and then turn it inside out. There we go, all sewn together. So all I have to do is turn it inside out. So I will start with my fingers and then I might need like a little um, something to help me poke it out. something. I'll look for a, um, a pencil or something. You just got to go slowly to get those end pieces out and you don't want to poke through the material. So slowly work the pencil. There we go. Now my only question is am I going to stuff it or leave it? And I think I'd like to stuff it, so... The stuffing I've got um, is secondhand from a pillow and it's quite dense and I don't like the way that it takes shape so I've been sitting here um, fluffing it up with my fingers just taking little bits at a time, just re redoing it like that so then when I put it in it's not so lumpy. it's coming along. Um, what I did was I stuffed the tail and I put a, a wire in there so that I can curl it and this end piece all I've got to do now is um, sew that on there so I'm just going to figure out how to do that. Probably what I'll do is I'll make sure all the stuffing's perfect the way I want it and then I'll try and do it with a sewing machine. Um, wish me luck because I don't want to stuff this up but I really like it. I've decided not to do it with a sewing machine because I think it'll be too messy. So I've just inserted the tail. I have pinned it on both sides. And now I'm just gonna gently hand sew it and try and hide um, my sewing in there. And I think that'll be enough. Be much neater that way. All right, it's all done and I love it. My little manta ray. 
So what I ended up doing with the tail is just um, hand stitching just along there. You can kind of see it in the light, but you know, when you're not looking, you're not going to notice it. Um, and then fluffing up that tail there. And one thing that I would have done differently um, had I done it again was I didn't think to line up the, the pattern. And so that's a little bit disappointing. That one doesn't match up with that one, but it is what it is. And then I'm just going to bend these in and it's all done. It's really cute um, and for the material that I had to use I think I did a good job but if I ever did it again I would probably use a bigger piece of material and um, I would change the shape of the head a little bit so instead of being concave like that I'd, I'd have it more out and then change that so when I make the pattern um, I'll put it up on my website under the free pattern category and um, I will draw it with more of a head than this one. But for first go, I think it's pretty cute. Anyway, crafters, thanks for watching. And um, please, if you like my channel, uh, make sure to subscribe and like and comment and all of that stuff. Um, and keep watching for further adventures. Thanks very much. Bye.